It's like the first day I've cut like. Sitting in tractor. Look at the mirrors. Like, look at that. They're tractor tire level almost, or a little bit above. some soil conditions were right here because that is some tall corn look at that that's level with the cab Jason's already got down here he's got me alone so Playing catch up. Lots of running. Sounds like a plan. As much as I want it to rain, I just want to get this done first. Can we make it done today? We might just have to take a break for a while or something. It's like the first day I've got like a break. Like got to sit and it's because it's raining. Um, we are going to do um, these last few rows that we had set out for the um, crop insurance adjuster. We are gonna go ahead and chop them um, and be done. We have like two loads left to take back to the pit and then we'll just squish it all down and then get the tarp on it. And this little bit of rain that's happening uh, is actually working in our favor on the silage pit because that moisture is going to go down and it'll help it out. So totally not even caring that it's raining right now. I am actually thankful for the rain. 
we are very dry. Everywhere is very dry. Um, but there's cracks going on and we really were kind of um, a little nervous about taking the corn off and then working the ground for um, the alfalfa that's going to be replanted here. But with this little bit of rain, it'll help the ground um, just get to work it in and have some moisture left. So may have to work on some other projects for a week depending on what this rain does. We only have a slight chance. So the fact that it's raining all around us but not actually at the field is kind of I don't know. Be thankful for what you get type thing. I was listening um, to some podcasts this morning on my way to Mexico and then here in the tractor. I will I will list those but there's a couple of ones that have been like really there's an Elevate Ag by uh, Natalie Kravayek and Tara Vanden who's I know, Tara Tara um Van something so Elevate Ag right there and then I was watching Sandy Brock's latest video and she put out almost a two hour video of lambing and I kid you not it put such a smile on my face today it's little things like I think I start, shared on my stories but um we're not gonna get sheep that I know of I don't have any desire to have sheep um if you've been around from the original like if you're the OGs to to our channel you guys know we had a little sheep named Sandy because of Sandy Brock Jalen and I were on like a Sandy Brock kick um and she's part of the reason and aspiration um why I got into you know YouTubing her and Meredith and Natalie have helped me quite a bit in the last um year and a half just really grow we're getting ready to come up to my anniversary date of going to um the Rural Rooted Retreat and it really just changed my mindset my mind level and just help me um, decide what was really important and what opportunities I really wanted to focus on. So this summer I've kind of done that. Like I've really focused putting all my energy into growing my YouTube channel and putting out good content for you guys. And I really have listened um, to you guys say, you know, talking about getting different shots. And I know you guys want to see... Do you still have that weed eater? Okay. He's ready for us to come up. Anyway, I was saying that I've got some goals and stuff that I'm going to work on this fall. This summer has been chaotic. Like, it just feels like I've been running 90 to nothing every day on something. Um, but we'll be slowing down and have some downtime, and then I can kind of reprogress and hopefully make a few things better and update a few things and just in general make more fun. <laughs> you know, it's been a long week when you have one, two, three, four, five, and all Jason's sodas. So I guess I'll clean out the tractor tonight or maybe tomorrow sometime it needs a good bath like <laughs> been hard on our equipment this summer it's just been a long summer i just i just need to take time to detail some tractors out for dirty dirty That's a wrap. Pretty cool, huh? He's drove my little tractor more today in the last um, two days than he has since we bought it. <laughs>